Hello guys, welcome back to another video. It's so good to be back. So today we'll be starting with module 6 of antenna and wave propagation. So today in this video, we will be discussing about radio wave propagation. So let's just have a recap. So in the previous videos, we saw that an antenna can act both as a transmitter as well as a receiver. That is, it can both transmit electromagnetic radio waves and has also receive electromagnetic radio waves. And therefore, a typical communication system will have both a transmitter as well as a receiver. So let's just draw that. So let this be a transmitter antenna and let this be a receiver antenna. So therefore, according to what we've seen till now, this transmitter antenna will send an electromagnetic radio wave towards this receiver antenna and once this receiver antenna receives this electromagnetic radio wave that particular information is received at the receiver side and now the path through which this particular electromagnetic radio wave goes through that path is referred to as the propagation path so based on this propagation path there are three modes of propagation so now you might be wondering how does this propagation path change how does it change? Well, here, this is what you refer to as an ideal communication system. That is, this is a situation where a transmitter and an antenna is kept at a relatively shorter distance. But in real case scenarios, antennas are kept very far away. And therefore, the propagation path changes. Well, how does that change? Well, let's find out. So now, as the antennas are placed far apart, one thing we have to take into consideration here is the fact that earth is round earth is round earth is a sphere therefore the surface of earth is curved so therefore let us first draw a curved earth surface so this is a curved earth surface so now let us assume that a particular transmitter antenna is placed here whereas a receiver antenna is placed here so therefore here this is the transmitter antenna and this is the receiver antenna so now there are three modes of propagation here the first mode of propagation is ground wave propagation so this is very simple ground wave propagation is a type of propagation in which this electromagnetic radio wave has got the same propagation path as the ground that is it will have a curved propagation path like this that is, it moves along the ground. It moves along the same direction of the ground and it reaches the receiver antenna. So that is what you refer to as ground wave propagation. Now, at a distance of 16 kilometers from the surface of the earth, we have what we call as the troposphere. So this is the troposphere, which is present at 16 kilometers from the surface of the earth ground so now the next mode of propagation is tropospheric propagation so in tropospheric propagation what happens is that the electromagnetic radio waves produced by the transmitter is sent to the troposphere like this and when it reaches the troposphere it gets reflected back and it reaches the receiver as simple as that that is the electromagnetic radio waves produced by the transmitter is sent to the troposphere and then when it reaches the troposphere it gets reflected back and it reaches the receiver so here at the troposphere here at this particular point both reflection as well as scattering happens and because of this this particular electromagnetic radio wave gets reflected back and reaches the receiver as simple as that guys that is what you refer to as tropospheric propagation and now at a distance of 50 to 400 kilometers from the surface of the earth like around here at a distance of 50 to 400 kilometers we have what you call the ionosphere so this is what you call as the ionosphere so now the third mode of propagation is ionospheric propagation so in ionospheric propagation what happens is that the transmitter antenna sends this electromagnetic radio waves onto this particular ionosphere and when it reaches here at this particular point both reflection and scattering happens and as a result of this this particular electromagnetic radio waves gets reflected back onto the receiver and thus is received at the receiver 
as simple as that guys so these are the three modes of propagation the first mode of propagation is ground wave propagation where the electromagnetic radio wave propagate along the ground like this that is along the curvature of the earth it propagates that is what you refer to as ground wave propagation and then in tropospheric propagation the electromagnetic radio waves it strikes the troposphere and gets reflected back onto the receiver finally in ionospheric propagation the transmitter sends the electromagnetic radio waves onto the ionosphere and it gets reflected back and it reaches the receiver as simple as that guys so these are the three modes of radio wave propagation now the combination of tropospheric and ionospheric propagation together is what you call sky wave propagation as simple as that guys so i'll tell you one extra thing so there is another thing called line of sight communication so in line of sight what happens here is that the transmitter will send the electromagnetic radio waves along a straight path towards the receiver that is along the line of sight along the line of sight so if this transmitter is placed here it is not along the line of sight of the receiver that is if a line of sight is drawn it will get broken by the surface of the earth so that is what you refer to as line of sight los so i have written it down the path through which the electromagnetic radio waves travel is called the propagation path and based on this particular propagation path certain propagation modes are there so the first such propagation mode is the ground wave propagation where the propagation path is along the surface of the ground and next comes the tropospheric propagation where the radio waves are first sent to the troposphere and it gets reflected back on to the receiver and lastly we have ionospheric propagation where the radio waves are sent to the ionosphere and then it gets reflected back to the receiver so this is the sums of radio wave propagation and the different modes under radio wave propagation so i hope you guys now have a clear understanding of what you mean by radio wave propagation and the different modes under radio wave propagation so we'll be discussing about the further topics in the upcoming videos so stay tuned and i'll see you guys in the next video thank you